Outside the arthroscopic cannula, expose the nitinol jaws of the capsule stitch suture passer by pushing the white sliding actuator down and forward towards the shaft of the device. Once the jaws are exposed, cut the glued portion of the suture and load approximately 5 mm into the nitinol jaw of the suture passer. Push down and then pull the white sliding actuator backward to pull the suture into the needle of the device. Place the capsule stitch suture passer through the distal anterior lateral accessory portal to pass suture through the most distal medial aspect of the T capsulotomy. Push the suture underneath the capsule and into the peripheral space by pushing the white sliding actuator down and forward. Once the suture is released from the jaws, push down and pull the white sliding actuator backward so it's loaded back into the needle. Remove the needle from the capsular leaflet. With the device still in the paracapsular space, push it through the distal lateral capsular leaflet to retrieve the past suture. Push the white sliding actuator down and forward so the nitinol jaws are located next to the suture. Once the suture is loaded into the nitinol jaws, pull the black switch backward to capture the suture in the peak tubing. Push down and pull the white sliding actuator to its original position. Keep pressure on the white sliding actuator as the device is withdrawn from the cannula to ensure the suture holds well. Once the suture passer is outside of the arthroscopic cannula, release the suture by pushing the white sliding actuator forward, exposing the peak tubing, and then push the black switch forward to expose the nitinol jaws in the suture. Tie and cut the suture tails and repeat these steps for the additional stitches.